Today I'm going to show you how to move a feed burner account to Google. Google has a purchased feed burner about a year and a half ago and uh, now here in February 2009 is uh, kind of demanding ordering that everybody move their feedburner.com account to feedburner.google.com. So let me show you how to do this pretty quickly here. Uh, first thing is we just go to www.feedburner.com. We're going to sign in. And now in this case, um, FeedBurner recognizes the uh, Google account that's associated with it. Um, if it doesn't recognize her, you, uh, you can click this radio button here, sign in to another Google account. We'll go ahead and, and just uh, sign in to the one that it, it's pre-selected for us because that's the one we want. Okay, now the next screen basically says, um, well, this is the name of our feed, and saying, okay, we'll go ahead and move it to the Google account, move feeds to your Google account. So we'll just click the button. Now generally this takes about a minute to actually make the move, and it'll come up here with a success screen when we're done, so I'll just uh, stop the video for a moment and pick it up back when we get that. Okay, we got our success message here showing that Indeed, the feed has now been moved under Google. Um, there's only one other step we need to do. In the case of press feed, in most instances, we have uh, used a service of FeedBurner called MyBrand, which allowed the feed URL, the feed address, to be at feeds.companydomain.com slash feed name, rather than feeds.feedburner.com. So there's an additional uh, step here that's needed if that's the case. Because, because Google has changed um, how that uh, service is handled. And uh, what we're going to do, they give us a URL, so we're just going to go ahead and click on that. And now here it's showing the domain that we were using, which is correct. And now we move down, and it gives us a new uh, URL to point the CNAME record at. And this is a change that you'll need to make in your DNS zone uh, file. Um, it's something you can give to your IT department. So be sure to copy this and paste it off in, in a safe location. Send it off to your IT uh, people and let them know that you're requesting a change of the C name record uh, to what's given right here for Google. And that's basically it. Uh, that's all you need to do to move a, a FeedBurner account to under Google. The um, important URLs to remember, of course, uh, to initially log into FeedBurner is www.feedburner.com. Once the move has been made, you'll log into feedburner.google.com and uh, get the statistics. They say it'll take a few days to do that, and um, uh, then you will be good to go. The only other thing I've noticed, and I may not be right on this, but it seems that as, uh, as of yet, there's no... Um, merging of feedburner.google.com, in other words, your statistics and metrics under feed under the new Google FeedBurner with Google Analytics. Hopefully that will come down the line so you just have one page to go to to find everything, but uh, that may be coming, uh, coming in the future. All right, thank you very much.